Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to another video. Today, well, last time in Yu-Gi-Oh! Draw Links, well, I didn't really, first, I didn't actually make a proper title for it by accident. And second, I didn't really explain how the game works. So, let's see, I'll tell you how you, you'd you set a deck. So you'd go, you'd obviously want people to battle with, obviously, yeah? So you'd get your monsters. Now you're going to want some, like, defense monsters, maybe. Um, never mind, forget about that. Yeah, you're obviously going to want defense monsters. So you'll go down, and you'll look for nice, some nice monsters to use. So there's... Wait, no, let's start from the beginning. We'll want some attack monsters, obviously. Now, I'm going to use a dinosaur version of this because it will make a lot more sense to me and it will be a lot easier. Okay. I see. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we're going to want first some monsters. So, let's get a normal card. Now, they have abilities. This one, this certain card, when it gets destroyed in battle, it can bring out another type of Jurak card. So, it's kind of good for Jurak monsters. So, I'm going to put some of them in my deck. Yeah. And then, this card's special effect is... It doesn't look that good, but its special effect is if you... Uh, if someone attacks you, you might get... No, you won't le lose life points if you're in defence. But your monster will get destroyed and theirs will be sent back to their hand. So that's kind of helpful. For defence, I would use uh, the Miracle Jurassic Egg. Or, sorry, not that in specific. I'd use something like this. 2,000 defence. Might have zero attack, but it's pretty good. Like, there's one called Big Gardener Shield, and what happens is one attacks it, and then it goes into attack mode, so you can't get attacked twice, and it's got zero attacks, so yeah. Right. Next up, you're going to want some Tribute Summons. So basically, Tribute Summons are where you have, like, let's say, one person. Like, you have a Jurak Velo on the field, this card, yeah. Then I can sacrifice that one guy for this guy, but it depends how many people you have to tribute. So I might even need to tribute three people to get a certain card, but it might be a god card. And then you want your obvious, your obvious like special tricks up your sleeve. So you've got when one of your monsters gets destroyed, this guy's effect kicks in, or some something like that obviously or this one is uh when five fire monsters get in the graveyard exactly you can summon them out special summon them there's tyranno infinity which is really good you get like tons of attack you get 1000 attack for every monster that's banished the difference between being in the graveyard and being banished is in the graveyard you can use monster re um reborn to get them out but they're, if they're banished there's no way of getting them out so that's the difference if you want to know yep and then you always want your little cool cards so this one is a jurassic world type thing yeah and then other, there's other things as well like different things with special effects you might want to look over that but that's for your monsters And then, next up, let's do spells. So, let's see. There's this one, Graceful Dice. Roll a six-sided die. Whatever it lands on, your monster gets it. They're called monsters just because of no reason. This is basically Monster Reborn, but you can choose three monsters, and then two of them will get banished, but the other one won't. And it's really good with, uh, what's it called? The uh, Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Because, uh, basically, you get 
your tributes, yeah? And you've got your blue eyes. If you get three blue eyes on the field, which are pretty powerful, you can summon in blue eyes ultimate dragon. Which combined the three blue eyes have 9,000 attack, but the blue eyes ultimate dragon only has 4,500. But if you use that, then your three blue eyes get in the graveyard. So you can use this and choose the three blue eyes, and they just have to choose one of your blue eyes. And then you have a blue eyes ultimate dragon and a blue eyes on the field. So that's a pretty good combo, if you get what I'm going. Final destiny, you might want one of these. Destroy all cards on the field. You might just want to... For all I know, you might want a stalling deck. Because I ju I've experienced a lot in this game. I lost to someone in an Exodia deck in this game. I think it was on camera as well. And then... Also, sorry. Also, you want your field cards as well. Like these. Just to boost up your monster's attack a bit more. Right, now we're going to move on to traps. So you'll, you'll want some traps that will help you with your combos, maybe. Uh, some traps that will give you more cards. That gives you one card. And then there's skull dice. That's basically, you know, graceful dice. Yeah, how you add it to your monster. Well, it takes it from their monster. So it's kind of the same, but yeah. And then there's Dragon's Rebirth or something. You might want something to reborn it in here. Sakuretsu Armor is a good one. I do recommend it. And, uh, yeah. This one, Guy the Fierce Knight, is really good. So, what, what I would suggest is... I'll say this. What I would suggest is I'd suggest for you to, like... Get deck. Uh, pre-made decks so in the like if you go to your shop yeah then over here just down here there's a decks thing if you press on that you'll see a bunch of decks now i would love right what you do is at level something you little yugi which is one of the people yeah, and can can be you can get a Yugi, which is basically you've got to level up to get your characters and stuff. And when you get little Yugi, you can get a Swordbound Silence, and then you can just buy yourself Spellbound Silence, which is really good. Spellbound. Yeah, basically Spellbound Silence. Yeah, uh, both of them, Spellbound Silence and Swordbound Silence. Both went against me in one deck, so someone made both of the, them just into one deck, and it was OP. And I would recommend the... I don't know which deck it is, so I'm just going to sit here scrolling through them for a few seconds. But it's the, it's a really good deck, and it's got this, like, thing in it. Like, you know that Gaia thing I was showing you? This thing. Yeah. I'd recommend the Masters of Chaos deck because that has the um, that monster in that. Sorry, 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 sorry. I'm going way too fast. That has the Fierce Knight in. Basically, when they have one uh, more car, more monsters on the field than you do, you can just summon him, and he's a nine-star dude. And also, he's quite high in attack and defence. Not the highest, but quite high. But, yeah, I'd recommend a dinosaur deck. Because, like, dinosaurs are the most powerful thing I've had so far. You might want a different deck. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just saying recommended. So, yeah. I'm going to... Wait a second, sorry. I'm in the wrong deck up to this deck so yeah i'm gonna get this deck that i just made oh yeah sorry before you also want these synchro effect monsters right i'm gonna explain this to you so there's these cards like this one you see the top of it here the uh top of the the two on the card yeah 
damn it's glitching out. Yeah, you see the two on the card up there. Sorry, I can't. Yeah, the two on this card that I'm holding. Yeah, you see that, how it's green? Yeah, well, if any of those things are green, then basically, that's a tuna monster. Uh, it sounds really weird, but it isn't as weird as you think it is. So, if you read it, it says one tuna plus one, one or more non-tuna dinosaur type monsters. Now, if you get like a this, for instance, which is pretty good, it's a machine, but you can just get any monsters for it, which is pretty decent. And you can get this is the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. That's a uh, extra deck thing. So these could be either the the white ones are synchros and black ones. I think some are, and then the purple and I think there's another color for them are like few polymer fusions. So for instance, I'd get three blue eyes white dragons and a polymerization. I'd activate the polymerization, and the three blue eyes would be able to turn into that if I had three blue eyes in my hand. So yeah, it seems weird, but yeah, I'm going to get this deck I've made with you all. Sorry, I didn't actually update my deck as I was going in by accident some some of the times, but yeah. I think I'm going to get this deck that I made with you guys. And I think I'm going to start. So let me just pop in a... One of these. Now, I'm not saying you have to get this kind of deck, but there are some pretty cool things with this deck. Now, you might find a really cool thing with another deck type thing. And awesome then, but... I personally like this one. So yeah, I think I'm going to take that final destruction. I'm going to take this one. And I am going to take... I know it's supposed to be a... Dino deck, but... I'm good. I think I'm going to take some blue eyes. And I'll take that. Just... For some fun. And I forgot that one. And uh, this one. Now this duel might just go terribly wrong. But we'll see. And wait, how much do you need to have? Oh yeah, I've got it. We'll see. And yeah, I'll see you guys in a second. So guys, I'm in the game. I'm going second, apparently. And yeah, I have got the deck that I made with you guys. I'm not even kidding, I did. I will defeat Get it? you. Every duel I've fought has led up to this moment. The moment I finally take down Yugi Moto and regain... Yeah, I'm not bothered to listen to it. But yeah, basically, this is actually based off a TV show. Not saying you have to watch it, not recommending it, not anything. I'm just saying it's off of a TV show called Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay. Perfect. Right, so I'll set the Sakuratsu armor, which is going to trap him soon, and the Miracle Jurassic Egg as defense. My turn is done. And I'm on my turn. It's my turn. Draw. Watch closely. I summon a monster in attack position. Ooh. Now. My let him go through. I let him go through I because he'd take more damage. It's my turn. I draw a card. Here I go. I summon a monster in attack position. Time to battle. Playtime is... I activate enemy controller. Enter the code. Left, right, A, B. Okay. My turn is done. So if you guys remember what I said about the Jurak Velo, um, you'll know what's going to happen in a second. <laughs> what he tributed. It's not actually that bad. Why would that be bad? 
Nam tak gedeng. First, I'll activate this dude's effect. Which I told you about that guy as well. Oh wait, it has to be. He had to be in the tank. Damn it. Ooh. I'll set that down. I do hope that this guy's actually going to be too bad. I'm going to be honest. The days you attack me, come on, attack me. I'm going to destroy that super powerful monster while I'm at it. He said the words for me, my turn's done. I was actually going to say that as well. Okay, so, oh, Milk will draw actually keg effect that I forgot to tell you, which I actually forgot myself, but still. Oh, I remember. This isn't really the right time for this. Actually, I wasn't really talking about this, but this is the perfect time for this. How many monsters is it? Two. Who am I going to take with me? These guys. Here I go. I tribute summon a monster. Yes. Oh. 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 I don't actually remember this, but... Ooh. My turn is done. Here I go. Draw. I said a monster face to I said I end Here my I turn. Hmm. My turn. I draw a card. Absolutely perfect. You guys are probably freaking out right now about what I'm about to do. Or not, never mind. I'm counting on you. Actually, I'm going to do right here. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I've got twelve. I want a ten. You can get two star monster. Oh, yeah. Unless you can pull some move with that trap. I've won. Yes! But yeah. I was willing to risk everything to win. But I still couldn't pull it. Yeah, basically that's how you normally play it. It gets a bit harder against like online people. It gets a lot harder. So I'd suggest to make your deck like battle with it in like the non online part then do a few tweaks to it to make it better and better and when you think you're ready get on that online part and wreck everyone but yeah i hope you like this video and i think this might be this is literally the most done video on my channel not like most viewed but like i've done this three times now so this might come again if you want to see more of it, just tell me. If you want me to play anything else, tell me as well. I can only play mobile games though, but yeah. I hope you'll like this vi you like this video and like and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!